Hey everyone, you are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thanks for always being here. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so. Please don't forget to press the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much for always stopping by. God bless you. No more lockdown in Nigeria. Federal government give reason. The chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Mr. Mustafa, made this clear in a briefing in Abuja on Thursday, June 11th, that the federal government may have no need to impose another lockdown in the country over the COVID-19 pandemic. However, Enforcing another lockdown in the country would cause setback in terms of strategic implementation. After the five weeks lockdown that had been observed already, in order to curb the continuous spread of COVID-19, Mr. Mustafa pointed that all Nigerians must take individual steps in order to control further spread of the COVID-19. The federal government will continue to implement COVID-19 guidelines to check the spread of the disease. Federal government has also threatened to withdraw license of medical doctors who reject patients from their hospitals without being attended to. He said any doctor that takes part in such unprofessional conduct would be reported to the Nigeria Medical and Delta Association, and such lessons will be withdrawn if found guilty. Meanwhile, Nigeria have 14,552 confirmed cases, 4,494 recovered cases, 85,375 tested samples, 9,000 673 active cases and 387 deaths so far. Now, federal government wants to relax lockdown in Nigeria totally. So, hello viewers, what do you think about this? Now that the cases of COVID-19 in Nigeria is increasing every day, and federal governments now want to relax uh, lockdown totally. What is going on here? Unless NCDC is telling us that the, the number of cases we have in Nigeria is not real. Because I see no reason why the cases of this uh, virus is increasing every day and the federal government wants to relax the lockdown uh, totally. This is not uh, good enough. I know the impact uh, on, on, uh, on, on the citizens because uh, when the lockdown at that first uh, time, actually, let's just say lockdown. If not, there was no any lockdown because some persons still find their ways uh, transporting themselves from one, fit, uh, one state to another. We've seen uh, the northern uh, part of Nigeria, we see them, how they, are, how they were uh, transporting themselves from one state to another, and they said there was lockdown then. Okay, let's come out from there. Yeah. Now, Nigerians have been saying that this uh, COVID-19 is 419, is a scam. And according to uh, NCDC, this, the cases of COVID-19 in Nigeria is increasing every day based on the number of cases uh, they are, are, are having daily. You understand? Nigerians are saying is uh, fake, and that is the reason why they are not restricting themselves to the guidelines of NCDC. They are not obeying the rules of NCDC at all. If it's going to continue like this, if real, that the number NCDC 
is actually quoting is correct, in a few months' time, Nigeria is going to spare doom. That is the truth. If we are going to go like this, <laughs> I pray that what happened in other countries will not hit Nigeria. This federal government, the way they do their things, you can see now that, that they don't have voice again because in, in, what they're supposed to do in the first time, they did not do it. When they, when they said there was a lockdown that few weeks then, they, they could not even provide anything for the citizens. They locked down people in their houses and asked them to quarantine their stomachs, which is not possible. You cannot ask people to stay on hunger while you are eating in, in your houses. This is very, very wrong. Even the palliatives they said they gave out, if you see what they gave out, it's nothing to, to show. You understand? I, I think this is the more reason why Nigerians are pushing out that they want to go out to fetch what they can eat. You cannot uh, accept people to sit down in the house and die of hunger. You understand? In the first place, there was no any lockdown in Nigeria. The, the federal government only empowered the security personnel to extract money from the innocent ones who are doing their best to provide uh, for their daily bread, which they failed to do. We know what happened now, what all these people were doing there. If they see you, say you, they come out. I won't buy tomatoes for you. They go shoot you. They go go you. If they not do that one, they go collect money. We know what happened in the South East, in Anambra State, when they were uh, collecting 10,000 10, naira. They will go to some estate and uh, arrest people in their houses. If they see you in the front of your house, they will arrest you and they will collect 10,000 naira. They were making good money. It was a, a situation where people... Uh, Dro we are driving away, far away. Okay, from Ghana to Onitsha, people were coming from Ghana to Onitsha in the face of the lockdown. People were coming from Kaduna to Lagos, from Castina to Edo State, from Zamfarawa to uh, Ogun State. They can't, they, they, there's no lockdown there now. There's no lockdown at all. It is better our roads are open for the economy to work on. So that is just it. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Let them open the road so that they, our economy will work because Nigerians are suffering. Now you people said you want to lock down. Ha, no wahala. So, Nigeria, uh, sorry, you don't want to relax the lockdown. Open the interstate so that economy will, will work. That is it. Somebody is saying here, God will reward the leaders of our dear country, Nigeria, with the works of their hands. Amen, he said. Okay. Someone said, I love in China. Nigerians are too intelligent for this drama. After you have succeeded in putting most of the citizens into pain in order to enrich your pocket, you want to stop. Let's wait for God's judgment. That very day, I will not give all the APC politicians water in hair when I will be in heaven. <laughs> wow. All right. Somebody said yeah, there was a lockdown only that the federal government law lacks the capacity and the resources to manage it. They will, they will like to continue, but they are, they are because of their selfishness and whatever, they cannot do that. In a case, lockdown solves no problem. Rather, it has a way of bringing down the people and the economy.